I don't have to travel today to interview someone with an innovative idea. You could say it's right here in our own backyard at Manchester. I'm going to visit Gary Heckman in our facilities office and Gary has found a way to, well actually Gary is really good at finding many many ways to make the physical plant more efficient, specifically with heating and cooling and energy usage. So today I'm going to visit Gary and one of the other fellows in his department, Mark McKee, and we're going to learn about something that is going to save this organization a lot of money. The interesting thing here is, is that Gary formulated his proposal in a specific way. I call it the business action plan or the innovation action plan and presented it to, the, uh, to his bosses that way and received approval and received funding and it's up and running and producing right now. So let's go visit Gary in the uh, college facilities office. Gary Heckman on the left, Mark McKee on the right, and the equipment behind Mark and Gary is the uh, the innovative uh, innovative improvement they made to uh, electrical use in the building. Mark, will you explain what these uh, cool looking boxes are? Uh, the boxes behind me are variable frequency drives, or VFDs for short, and what they do is they allow us to control the motor speed using our controls in the building to, to bring the motors up slowly instead of the instantaneous start that they would have normally had. Uh, this, this is going to be better than we expected. We were, we were promising a two-year payback and we're looking at well under two years of uh, return on investment. One of the things that Gary did was he did some studying in a couple of classes here at the college and he learned about something called uh, the business action plan. And the idea behind the business action plan is you make the logical uh, operational and financial argument for a capital expenditure so that you can show everyone in the organization why it'll make sense. Uh, how did you utilize that in this project? We were, we were meeting with the, uh, the Green Com Committee. Uh, as, as it happened, the uh, business manager was asking whether it was time to buy a Prius or to buy these. We were saying the return's much better on these. Uh, we left the meeting and wrote up the business plan, all the steps, put it on one sheet of paper, took it back to him. Uh, the PO was written within a week. We went for it. And Mark, did you participate in writing the plan? Yes, I, I was responsible for writing the uh, plan based on the, uh, the steps that Gary Heckman had uh, picked up in uh, your class. For everybody who might be watching this, the steps are, uh, you come across a problem, or uh, what we call an opportunity sometimes, but I call it a problem in your work. Uh, you also know where your organization sits in its uh, strategic position in the marketplace, where your needs are. Uh, you think about problems and solutions that come up with what you think is an innovative solution. Uh, and then you, on one piece of paper, come up with what we call the business action plan, which states the situation, the solution, the cost, the return on investment, metrics you can count success, a uh, timeline with mileposts, a team you might need to put it together, and with a big smile on your face you walk in the door and you ask for uh, support and funding for the project. And you guys say that it actually worked? Yes. It actually works. All right, and you, um, how much money do you think you might save the college over the next 10 years with this investment, Gary? I'd say well over a hundred thousand. Well over a hundred thousand. Uh, I wonder what a Prius is worth in ten years. <laughs> Probably a little less than it costs, right? A little right? less. A little less. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. You got it.